All right, hey VC, I'm Jamie. Welcome back. We are back with another video and back with, well, kind of an unboxing. I guess you can almost say this is a kind of a vintage unboxing. Uh, a lovely uh, gift from my wife, actually. Uh, there's online auctions, of course, plenty that are going on. Uh, usually uh, some of these online auctions don't include much uh, music stuff or at least any of the ones that I've encountered. Now, she's much more into the online auction thing than I am. Uh, she's often looking for uh, furniture and things like that. But uh, this one had one particular item uh, that uh, she came across and that we saw and then it was like mm, well maybe we can maybe put some bids in on that I don't know I don't think I ever have very much luck with auctions but we managed to get the winning bid and uh, I'm not exactly sure what she bid on it but uh, you know uh, knowing my wife I don't think she spent too too much on this this was a a vintage box set that was part of this uh, online auction and uh, I completely had forgotten that it was released it was like oh yeah okay uh, this is the Aerosmith box of fire uh, box set. So this is kind of a CD uh, catalog, if you will, of uh, Aerosmith's early stuff. This came out in 1994. And as you can see, it is quite uh, the interesting box set. And uh, of course, it's typical of a kind of a box set from the 90s where all the CDs are housed inside jewel cases, which you don't hardly ever see anymore. So here's the uh, cover. As you can see, uh, you might remember it had a little match uh, for this is the only way you can open it. It doesn't open up. It doesn't slide out or anything like that. You can't uh, lift the lid. The only way to open it is that way. And I think... Uh, like with this match, but I think the just the end of it has been broken off if you can see it's kind of glued underneath So that match I think came out a little bit further like a, a burnt match a match that's been been struck, but uh, Other than that, uh, I think everything's inside. So that's uh, what it looks like inside now I don't think this came with any booklet or anything like that. I could be wrong And I guess it just had a, this one has a little sticker on the bottom that just says Aerosmith uh, yeah, so it just opens up like this, and uh, let's take a look at what's inside. So it's a whole bunch of discs. Again, it's pretty much, uh, how many discs do we have? One through, and of course these are not in order. I think it's roughly like 11 CDs plus a bonus uh, CD. So again, uh, you won't be able to quite to be able to see that. Uh, but they're all numbered on the bottom and then they do uh, once they're in the right order uh, they give you a kind of nice little design like that so let's uh let's take a look at i think this is yeah this is number one because they've got the numbers uh i don't know if you can even see that right on the bottom like that so again in the classic jewel cases and inside like that and we can pop that out and again it's all these all the cases are designed for this box but then the I think the the sleeves uh, inside were sort of the uh, the standard uh, releases they just redesigned the uh, the jewel box uh, if you will uh, to match this so again you've likely seen all of these uh, CDs before or at least the classic uh, CDs so there's uh, number one and then moving right along number two and a nice little crack <laughs> crack there how did they get a crack in this when it's housed in a in a jewel box or in a big big box like this i'll never know but okay and classic aerosmith again showed the first album and then this of course is uh, get your wings and gosh hard to remember even too when the often the cd booklets would fold out like this almost like cassettes okay And again, in the sort of standard, almost uh, Columbia uh, look to the CDs. And then I can find CD3, which is, of course, the classic toys in the attic. And I don't think, yeah, none of these uh, CDs, other than the bonus disc, uh, there's no extra tracks on any of these. I think that if they would have released this now, they probably would have stuck on uh, maybe some bonus tracks on some of the... CDs, I think. Uh, but you gotta love uh, Aerosmith. You gotta love Steve Tyler, Joe Perry. And so nice to see uh, Steve Tyler as part of the uh, Fleetwood Mac, or sorry, the Mick Fleetwood and Friends uh, celebration, the early years of Fleetwood Mac and Peter Green, but uh, Steve Tyler, uh, part of the band. And I think, uh, hopefully I've got the right order here. Yes, number four with Rocks. 
but yeah, pretty much a standard for the look of these. <laughs> and yeah, all these, gosh, it's just like cassettes, you forget. Oh, these all kind of folded out like this. Incredible. Yeah, so this box set came out in 1994, and I vaguely remembered uh, when this came out. I think it was a Pandora's box that maybe got a little bit more, um, you know, attention. And uh, certainly a big box set like this um, was pricey enough, as I recall, back in the day. And then, of course, we have... Always, always like this cover. Draw the line. And then we have the disc inside like that. Okay, and yeah, they all seem to fold out. And there we have that. Okay, I'll just pop that back in. Oops. Okay. Yeah, moving right along. And I can see where this, you know, this match, because this is the only way to really open this box. So you can see where this match gets pulled on, pulled on, and eventually maybe snapping off uh, like that. Okay, disc number six, Aerosmith Live. Bootleg, very cool. And this was a double album, so I don't know if in this configuration they were able to get, if they didn't, hopefully they didn't cut anything. I don't uh, remember if they did for the uh, single disc. Uh, set which often happened uh, certainly in the early days of CD releases for some of these double albums. Oh my goodness, the roadmap for this one! Oh my gosh, <laughs> how they would often cut uh, some tracks uh, for double album and squeezing it all onto a single disc. Hopefully, you're able to see this one. My goodness, okay. Well, will I be able to refold this? Probably not. Uh, not well, not bad. <laughs> Sometimes when I refold these, especially these long ones, there's always one fold that you somehow couldn't quite get back in correctly. Okay, so we can keep moving along here. That was a disc six. Let's move on to disc seven. And Aerosmith Knight in the ruts. And again, I don't quite know why some of these jewel cases are cracked, but uh, I guess you take them out and you drop them and, or whatever, but since they're all housed in this big box, Yeah, this really does feel like a fun blast from the past here. Okay, there you go. There is that. Just slip that back in. Okay, and then we're moving on now to... I'm in the right order here. Again, these are not in the right order, so I'm having to look in the bottom here for which disc is which. And it's interesting with this though, then they included Aerosmith's Greatest Hits. Nice big crack in the, <laughs> in the case there. Um, interesting that they decided to include that disc with this. Okay, Aerosmith's Greatest Hits. And here we go. Okay, and like that, like that. All right, so we're moving on now to disc nine, which is Aerosmith Rock in a Hard Place. Yeah, it's too bad they didn't really put something in the back of this, but uh, ah, small quibble. And it's interesting, I'm so used to just having a booklet, and it's interesting, I almost forget about these. These kind of fold out. Okay. And moving on to disc 10. And then we have Aerosmith Classics Live, oh, which is very nice. Yeah, like that, and then that slips out like that. Yeah, 
and I've got some Marrow Smith on CD. I do have the uh, Pandora's Box, the later uh, issue. I don't have the original issue of uh, Pandora's Box. I have the uh, slightly uh, reconfigured uh, release of that. And I have a few Aerosmith CDs and a few Aerosmith albums on vinyl, but uh, now I've got a good selection of their early stuff. So this is, this is, this is great. All right, and then we have Aerosmith Classics Live 2. Okay. Very nice. And with that, oops, like that, and like that. Very nice. And one more disc from the main set is disc 12, which is gems, Aerosmith gems. Kind of uh, odds and sods, I guess, as I recall. Or maybe not, maybe not. But not a typical sort of greatest hits. Oops. Very cool. Okay, so those are all the, the main discs. And then also housed inside, uh, just right on the side, is the uh, bonus uh, disc. It's got a little bit of uh, wear there. And this is uh, five uh, tracks, uh, Sweet Emotion, Rock and Pneumonia, and the Boogie Woogie Flu, uh, Subway, and Circle Jerk, and Dream On MTV Anniversary. There you have that. I don't know if you can see that there. Yeah, a little bit scratched up, but no. At least the disc is inside. Oops. Oh. oh, okay. So there you have it. Now I'll see if I can put these discs back in so you get a sense of what the design uh, looks like. And uh, yeah, maybe I can just show you what the, this looks like. It's just, you know, pretty much straightforward plastic. And the uh, credits for the uh, box of fire like that and it just says uh, Aerosmith box of fire all around it that's all it says but it continues all the way around that so there's that so let's uh, put these discs back in as quickly as <laughs> we possibly can so not to waste your time but again I do appreciate you uh, dropping by and uh, certainly thank you to my wife for uh, spotting this and picking this up can't put that back in and I'm almost yeah I'm almost, oh here we go now I gotta make sure that <laughs> ah yes the old CD problem where you got to get the booklet inside the tab because if you don't then the CD doesn't close and then it won't fit into the little slots there you go okay so there's that and yes certainly thank you to my wife for spotting this and picking this up as I say of all the box sets I almost forgot about this one going back a few years now 1994 my goodness Okay, and yeah, hopefully you'll be able to get a sense of the design uh, once you put all the CDs back together. As my grandfather clock rings in the background. Oops, and oh, can I get this last one in? There we go. Okay, you might be able to see it. And here's sort of that Aerosmith sort of. You can sort of see the uh, the logo there uh, through there, Aerosmith. Not perfect, but <laughs> you can kind of kind of see it. Okay, so there you have it—a vintage uh, box set, a little broken match, but to Aerosmith's uh, box of fire. So again, thanks so much uh, for dropping by, and take care. We'll chat again soon. Bye bye.